So Antoinette, thanks so much uh, for joining us on the podcast. We're we're really excited to have you. Uh, I know you're at work right now, <laughs> so um, you know uh, appreciated and and um, we have a few things that we can chat about. But I wanted to first thank you for the wonderful presentation you did at our all staff meeting. Ah. Uh, it's so fantastic. Um, you know, uh, sharing some of your travel experiences and and the things that you've been going through as an instructor and just personally your journey coming to this field. Um, but not everyone has, you know, who might be the millions of people watching this podcast there you go. <laughs> <laughs> might not know your story. So uh, sure. tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Ah, so um, normally I, I'll start with, you know, um, as you introduced to me, uh, my name is Antoinette Clark Thompson. I'm uh, Jamaican born. I was born in Jamaica. Um, a little bit of similarity in terms of culture and, um, you know, under the, the British rule in terms of us having provinces here in Canada and Jamaica having parishes. So I was born in one of the 14 parishes in the capital called Fatmouth. Um, my parents... Uh, were also born in Jamaica as well. Um, I had two siblings, um, two brothers, two sisters. I've, I've lost um, both, but I'm the only surviving child for my mom. Um, and I've moved here in Canada. I have one son. He's 21 years old. The He's my world. Yeah, <laughs> He's yeah. one of the main reason why I even migrated to Canada because I've been traveling here in Canada since 1998, um, being involved in the community service aspect of Jamaica, where um, I was a participant of the Jamaica Canada Youth Exchange Program. Um, here cool. in, uh, we went to Newfoundland for four months. Oh, and, wow. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> so I was baptized in the cold once I got here. Nice. So we spent four months in Newfoundland. Um, I worked in the Victor and Order of Nurses um, as a volunteer. So that entire time was all volunteer. And then we came back to Jamaica. I was a pre-trained teacher. So I was always involved in community service work as um, one of the podcasts, that, not the podcast, one of the um, engagement, civic engagement that we did where the um, speaker said, you know, we've all in, been involved in community service work one way or the other we was just yes. not entitled you know it wasn't called community service work but i was yes. always involved you know in helping other other persons young old i'm mostly um with the elderly of my my community and the youth so i was always involved yeah. with that i moved in in canada uh 2017 with my son as i said he was my main priority um for him to get to school i started uh, centennial college two years uh community service di um, diploma and um, we've been here since the, my journey throughout that time has been pretty awesome. I've been blessed um, to, you know, to meet a lot of persons on my journey and um, especially within Centennial College. And that is how I started my journey in Computech College. Yes. And um, as I said, even in my speech, when we came here at Centennial College, if we had the opportunity to come to Computech, we would have jumped at Computech first <laughs> time, nice. you know. Yeah, but Compu you. Um, Computech wasn't <clears throat> available to us at that time. And now that we are, in fact, um, you know, accepting um, students internationally, that is something that I am totally 110% with and excited for that we can... Yes. Op open our doors for that right yes yes so that's awesome that's a that's yeah. an awesome opportunity for everyone to you know to be a part of right yes and especially uh you know we are not looking to charge we are not yeah. not, not we're not looking we are not, not charging absolutely. extra fees for international students um, yeah tj who's our vp of student success was computex first international student um yeah i oh you didn't know that yeah yeah <laughs> Yes. So uh, once okay. upon a time and, you know, definitely knows the struggles as yes. he went through it. And, yes. and we have a lot of international students uh, as part of our team. So, yes. Yes. Um, yeah, fan fantastic. I, I love uh, I love that Newfoundland was one of your first mm -hmm. steps. Um, <laughs> I have some family in Newfoundland, so I've been there a few times. And I think it's, you know, the people there, it's such a great introduction to Canada. Yes. Um, because I think people don't really expect it with the with the accent and everything, but they're so friendly, oh. just generally in the Maritimes, right? Oh, yeah. tell me about it. They yeah. they opened their doors, they opened their arms to us for the four, three, four, almost four months that we were there. Oh my God! Yes, we had potlucks <laughs> after potlucks. We, had, we <laughs> awesome. met the mayor. 
wow. we were celebrities, man. But yeah. but it, it was for us as Jamaicans or um, people of color. Um, my first experience um, when I when we got into Cornerbrook, we stayed in Cornerbrook for the for the time. Some of us, half of us, were in, in Cornerbrook and half was in Stephenville. Um, but when the first day that we actually went out into this into the town, yes, persons were driving because we were the only black persons, the only yes. person of color there. The, I, yes. Most of them has never seen someone of um, of our color. And yeah. I remember when we were we were walking down the street. <clears throat> People, people will be driving and they'll be driving and their heads will be turning, looking at us. <laughs> and we're like, oh my God, I'm like, hi. But it was so, it was a, so, they were just, they're just the sweetest human beings ever. They yeah. opened their doors to us. We were like, we were like royalties in Newfoundland. That was my first baptism of Canada. And that is why I love Canada so much. I've been coming back ever since because the warmth of the people there was just like, welcome home. You know, they took us in for the entire time. We were, we were, we, you know, we never wanted anything there. Not, not at all. It was so warm. Yes. And, you know, even in Toronto, even though it's a city, it's the same thing, you know. Um, so Canada is a total different country. And it's a country where immigration is the, uh, what's the word? You know, immigration is just so important to Canada. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's, it, it's, it's the key. And I love the multiculturalism, oh. a part of Canada where you get to embrace your culture um, and still enjoy, you know, Canadian Canadian culture, so to speak, right? Absolutely. So Canadian, Canadian culture now is this diverse um, culture uh, mm -hmm. uh, that, that we have. Um, yeah, you know, Antoinette, uh, like you're, you're speaking to us now from work. Yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you, you know, once again, thank you for doing this. Okay. How do you balance, you know, work and you talked about your son, you know, and the importance of giving time to him and, uh, you know, your teaching and all that. How, how do you maintain that balance? Uh, it's, it's, it's become quite easy after a while. Um, I, 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 I guess from back home in my country, in, in, in Jamaica, I've always, um, been involved in his life um, right to the core. Um, the job that I had back in, in Jamaica as well made it a little easier. I was a pharmaceutical sales rep, so I was on the road. I had the opportunity to to be a soccer mom, <laughs> a cooking <laughs> mom. Um, yeah, uh, nice. Every, yeah, I was I was at every one of his game because of the flexibility of being a you know being a sales representative, right? right. So I was blessed with that. Um, so I was able to balance both, uh, manage work and manage being a mom. And uh, I've been dubbed a super mom as well <laughs> because, as I said, you know I had the opportunity to do that. A lot of parents may not have had that opportunity. Um, yes. If you're working a nine to five and you're tied down to a desk, that's a different thing. But um, I was I was in a position to do that. And coming here in Canada, um, the good thing with me and my son Tevin is that um, I, I came when he was a little bit older. If I had um, I had younger children, like ninety five percent of my students have. Yes. If I had you know two year old, three year old, five year old, it would have been a much tougher job. But because yes. he was he's a you know he was a teenager. He, he he was here when he finished high school in Jamaica. So he was fifteen, sixteen. So right. he could at least take care of himself for a little yes. bit. Yes. Um, so I, I, I wasn't tied down with working and, and taking care of him um, yes. as much as a younger child. So that was a blessing in disguise for me. Yes. Um, if that is a possible way for a person to do that, that would be good. But I would say, you know, I would, I would prefer for him to grow up into the Canadian society than being a little bit older. But um, it was much easier for me to balance it. So yes. working and going to work, I could work. If it's a, 12, if it's a midnight shift, I can do that. Um, I can do that all the time. Yes. If yeah. if the needs be right, because he's much older. He's much um, older. So it was easy for me. It became easy for me to balance. Um, thank God for that. Is he is he looking at uh, going into the same sector, or what are what are his interests? His he is um, his love was when he was about sixteen, seventeen. He fell in love with robotics, electronics, um, those oh, kind awesome. of things. Yeah, that was his first love. I think he's a little bit diverting from that. Um, he has the business mind, though. He's a business, yes. business man. 
Yes. That I know from birth. Yeah. But when he came to Canada, he fell in love with robotics, which was awesome. So yeah. I'm not sure which avenue he wants to take it in, but I'm, he's, as soon as he's um, back up to full force, he will definitely be taking a course in computer college. I okay, 110%. Awesome. <laughs> sure. Well, maybe, I, I would love to start a robotics course here. I think it's Ooh. such a huge uh, uh, industry. It is. And, you know, and, and people always love when you're in class and it's very hands-on. Hands you're working yes. with things, right? Yes. So Absolutely. I think it would be a very interesting program for us to incorporate. Absolutely. Um, do you have any advice for people that would like to get into the community service worker field? or a social work field? Oh, I would say go for it 110%. It's, it's a rewarding, um, it's a rewarding department or um, title. I, sometimes I, I don't, even when I'm in class and I'm teaching, I tell my students, I don't classify community service work as a, as a title per se. It's more of a, a heart to heart job or a heart to heart um, field. You, right. you are in it for the love of it. You, you want to help people. You want to you wanna advise them. You want to give them the right thing. You want to direct them to the right resources. You want to do that. You want to encourage them to keep holding on. Listen, um, leaving your home, especially as newly immigrants, leaving your home is a tough, it's not an easy decision. Yes. Packing yes. up your kids and yourself to come to a new country is not an easy decision. Not an easy. You don't just... Blink your eyes and it happens, right? Yeah. Um, and coming in, transitioning into a new country as well. Learning the nuances of a new country. Learning a different language. For most of us, it's a different language. Um, um, we were lucky from the Western countries where we speak English um, as maybe a first, maybe second, or dialect back home is a little bit different, but English, you may learn it in school, so it's not too bad to right. transition. But if you have to learn an entire language altogether, which is English here in Canada, um, looking and for And it's not job, an easy language, no, English. <laughs> no, no. Even when we were learning in school, I'm like, who came up with these things? Yeah. How did this become English? Like yeah. past tense, present tense, and all things I have to do. I was like, who? came up with that so it's not easy it is not easy at all yes. it's not easy so learning that transition into that um finding jobs finding housing solutions all of that it's just it's a whole world and learning all of those um topics or issues through community service work you you can't go wrong you cannot mm -hmm. go wrong at all um this week we just finished um support resources as our topic and okay. The amount of um, information that you can gather from, you know, things that you need to, you know, you need in order to survive here and in yes. order to help fellow immigrants and persons who will be coming here and need those resources that are free. And the, the good thing too, the government of Canada, federal municipal governments, they all, they all understand exactly what we need and what we what is happening to us as newly immigrants so they provide all of these uh, resources for us free of cost right yes yes so learning all of these things um the the wealth of knowledge that you get from community service work support um um social service work is just it's not just a career it's not just a, a diploma that you get and say yes you've graduated you are it's it's a I'm 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 baffling because I'm I'm babbling because um there's just so much to say about it. So, no, so much absolutely, things, and um, and I think especially in in you know coming out of COVID, oh. you know some of the challenges um, that people have been going through and thinking about our elderly, yes. thinking about you know people in the healthcare field in general that have just gone through such uh, stressful times and still ongoing. Still going, yeah. Um, you know, having somebody to support them through that in, in there's various ways to support, but this is, this is one, one of, of course, absolutely. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Antoinette, I don't want to keep you any longer. I really no appreciate <laughs> that you've been uh, taking the time to join us today. Uh, thank you so much, Antoinette. I want to say first, uh, or lastly, mm -hmm. it's such a pleasure to have you as part of the Computech team. Your My energy pleasure. is amazing. Um, I, I remember our musical chair game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that day was epic. <laughs> yes, yes. So yes. looking forward to the next one. I think the Blue Jays game is coming. Oh, yes. yes. Can't yeah. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Antoinette. Absolutely. You're most welcome, really. Absolutely. Take care. You Take too. Care. Take care. Bye-bye.